Hey, welcome to Drive Central. Here's where you're gonna find out all those things going on on Drive this week. Hit us up, facebook.com slash drive TV and at Drive on Twitter. The teleprompter's broken today. Let's see if I can do this thing. Leo Parente's with me. I didn't know you were gonna have me on. Well, you were here in the office and I roped you in. And you know, um, there's been a lot of talk about, about me overdressing for Drive. So well, I, didn't, I didn't shave. Well, that's, uh, that's one way to go. And I also didn't overdress by I'm not wearing pants. You took your pants off. Well, you know, I'm not going to give up the sport coat. Well, you know. So I don't want to overdress. Okay. So pants. Nice belt. Shall we proceed? Yes, yes. This week on Tuned, it's the last show of the season, and Matt Farah gives his recap of what happened this past season. Let's take a look at a clip. You'll hit 60 miles an hour a full second faster. You'll hit the quarter mile almost two seconds faster than stock. And if you're going to be out there jumping dunes and racing your buddies, Nice to know that your Raptor is faster than his Raptor. Velociraptor is close to home and the story is basically my relationship with the Raptor. Should I or should I not supercharge it from Hennessy? First, let's say this. We made several Hennessy films because in order for us to travel somewhere, we have to make multiple films because Hennessy tunes a wide variety of vehicles. It seemed only logical that while we were there and he had the cars there and he said, go at it, that we should film multiple vehicles. So with that being said, the Velociraptor 600 is an interesting package. It is, feels stock when you're off the gas. It sacrifices virtually nothing except the initial uh, cost of the kit. And it does zero to 60 in five and a half seconds. Tops out at 120 miles an hour and is just ridiculous. <laughs> and, I, and I absolutely love it. It was fun. So most criticisms of this video are that, uh, let's see. Hmm. Lincoln Lincoln from YouTube says, what do you need that power for? F***ing small losers. <laughs> you need that power, Lincoln Lincoln, because it's awesome. And if you don't get it, you shouldn't be watching a show called Tuned. You are <laughs> Over the course of that video, Zach tried to encourage me to get the kit because it wouldn't ruin the practicality of my current Raptor. And Chubby Hong, who has a, just an awesome YouTube username, points out, LOL, Zach is an idiot. Obviously, all your gear is going to fit into the truck. Actually, Chubb B. Hong is an idiot because he didn't remotely get the joke there. That's tuned every Monday here on Drive. Are those Lee Riders? Uh, uh, Daryl Waltrip. No, no. Daryl uh, Waltrip edition. <laughs> Daryl Waltrip edition from my trip to Virginia. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Walmart? Yeah. Express. I saw a Walmart Express. What's that, a drive-thru? I have no idea. I live in New York. They only sell guns. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Live and Let Drive, Alex Roy goes to Latvia. Wow. Apparently, wow. according to drive uh, crew who've been there, it's the most awesome country in the world. Let's take a look at that. Otto might be Latvian, but I don't see anything resembling <laughs> the Latvia he described. I mean, look at this place. Well, no, you know, actually, it's quite beautiful, but I mean, he said the country was incredibly modern. Um, you know, there was an industrialized, um, high growth rate country, and it doesn't look anything like that to me. It looks like the set from Band of Brothers. It does. And also, you, I can't believe how many wood houses there are. Because, you know, everyone knows that wood is the finest insulation material possible in a country that's colder than Iceland, man. But come on. I mean, it is beautiful. We're lost. I'm turning on the GPS. Secret location, Riga, Latvia. Between a middle school and ice hockey ring, there appears to be an orphanage is this shooting range where I will now fire Kalashnikovs as much as possible before I'm kicked out. Oh, so this is the um, Spetsnaz shooting. So uh, I'm taking this home to show JF what happens when I'm crossed. So what do you call people from Latvia anyway? 
Uh, Latvantonians? Latvantageous? Latvantageous. That's what you get uh, on the airplane. Uh, <laughs> With the little Latvian penis. <laughs> exactly. Live and Let Drive every Tuesday and this week on Chris Harris on Cars. Uh, I don't actually don't know because Chris hasn't gotten back to me. Um, Let's guess. Chris. Yep. Cool car. Yep. A lot of steering. Yep. Opposite lock. App. British Apple. accent. UK, UK accent. <laughs> UK. Exactly. Let's take Chris a look Harris at that. on Cars every week. <laughs>